In this first tutorial, I'll show you some of the things you're going to need to get started on your car project. Uh, to begin, uh, you're going to need to open up the 3D Derby block file, and you can find that on the Tournament of Technology page uh, just by typing in go slash tot. And there's a section for event tutorials, and then 3D printing, and then you see the different tutorial parts uh, for working through the car, and then the actual SketchUp file is called the 3D Derby block. Uh, so you'll click on that, and you're going to want to open it, and then start using SketchUp. Uh, before you do that, if this is your first time opening up SketchUp, it's going to ask you to choose a template. Uh, since I've already done this, I've got to click on it, but um, if this is your first time, it's going to ask you to choose a template. And the template that I recommend is actually about halfway down, and it's called Product Design and Woodworking Millimeters. Um, I really like the millimeters one because it lets you be very, very accurate as you're making your measurements and creating your car. Uh, so we'll select that and then click Start Using SketchUp. And you should see our car block. Uh, this is there to kind of help you get started. Um, it's already set to the correct measurements for the car. Uh, so there are some limitations to how tall the car can be and how long the car can be. Um, and so by using this block you should uh, be within those measurements. And before we even get to work on the car, I want to kind of show you a couple of things. So first of all, you've got the three different axes. You've got the blue axis going up and down. You've got the red axis which looks left and right so left and right and then you've got the green axis which goes front and back now the axes are going to be really important as you're designing your car as you're drawing on it SketchUp will actually snap to or follow um, the axes so if I wanted to draw a line straight back you can see it's green which means it's parallel to the green axis if I was going to draw a line straight up and down. If it's blue, that means it's straight up and down on the blue axis. Um, and it'll usually tell you, if you're not on a surface like this, it says it's on the blue axis. If I was drawing a line along the red axis, it'll be red, and it should say on red axis. Uh, so that can be kind of helpful as you're designing your car, paying attention to those different axes.